Good morning, you too. Welcome back, friends. Today I'm looking at one I've been waiting for for a while. This is the Revolt RDA. It's a clone, actually. This one from Fast Tech. I think we've all been waiting for this clone for a little while. I don't know if you're Canadian or not. That's neither here nor there, but this is from a Canadian company by the name of Hazmatic.com. You can go to their website and check out the original if you like. So there's a lot of different clones of this one out there. I kind of waited for this one at Fast Tech. You can check out the SKU in the description. And I'm kind of happy I did. Comes with this skookum little base. You see it here attached to. I like the, the presentation. This is actually kind of a cool little setup. O-ring on the bottom to hold this little guy on there. Pops off. Goodies in the top. And this little build base. This thing is awesome. Now, <laughs> one thing that's funny is in the pictures on Fast Tech, they actually do not show any writing or logos or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, but when you when I get it, obviously, it has them. So it has the Revolt logo on the bottom of the build base. Canada 304 stainless steel. It's not steel, I guess. It's just steel. Atomizer setup base by Hazmatic. So I'm going to take this off and I'll just kind of show you. It's actually nice to have these, these little setup bases. It's got this little foam landing pad on there. And then the Atomizer itself. Revolt by Hazmatic 316 medical grade stainless steel and uh, yeah pretty happy to have this guy pretty awesome little RDA I gotta say so let's pop apart and show you all the goodies you got the airflow control ring you got your big 510 or your wide drip adapter wide drip tip And this is meant to go either way, so you can flip it over, so you can have wide airflow that way, and if you want it a little bit narrower, you just flip it and put it back on this way. Nice design, very simple, efficient. Triple post system. Negatives are milled right into the deck. I love nice big deep juice well. Machining is very nice. It's actually not that heavy. It's a solid piece though. And then you get all the goodies. And one thing really happy to see is that spare copper center pin so you do get a spare replacement copper center post for this atomizer which is very nice to see a whole bunch of o-rings spare screws two a couple coils good stuff and the 510 adapter so you can use this with a regular 510 drip tip let me just get this o-ring back on there pop her in and show you how it looks and I'm gonna go ahead today and do a good build on this blow some clouds show you the bottom line for you know I ordered this before it was even released on fast tech and they were charging um, it was eleven dollars okay so I just kind of popped the 510 in there and really nice fit I do like it uh, this is just a vape life 510 drip that I just popped in to give you an idea and uh, that's basically it. So I'm just going to give this a really good bubble bath. Make sure, uh, you know, it doesn't smell like it has any oil left on it. It was cleaned very well. However, this is just a standard thing I go through uh, with all of my new atomizers. Okay, so actually I did have a little bit of an issue here on my first build with the guy. Um, one of these screw holes was... A little too big so the screw wouldn't grab the threads um, I'm not gonna pull the screw out now but what, what it was that the walls are actually really thin so all I had to do was just grab my pliers and just kind of just give it a little bit of a pinch um, so that the, the threads would grab but that is an issue that that's the only issue I had so far so I built really nice um, I need some 24 gauge 8 wraps I'll show you the final meter in a minute here just thought I'd show you the build I'm going to go ahead and wick it up now. I'm going to be trying some cotton bacon out today. I picked up some of this from my local B&M. Version 2.0. Interesting little, uh, here, I'll show you a close-up of it. And the back's kind of funny because they got, like, nutritional facts. <laughs> except for, I don't know. So, we'll give it a shot. I'm used to the Muji or the Puff Cotton, and I'm waiting on a big giant shipment to show up. Fast tech, so I didn't want to go buy more the same organic Japanese stuff. So I decided, hey, why don't we try out the cotton bacon? 
It's fairly interesting stuff. So I just kind of opened her up and just kind of pulled the top piece out. And the way that they've kind of put it in the bags, they just got kind of pieces of cotton bacon. Interesting. Seems like very good quality. I think I paid 10 bucks for this. Canadian. You know, it's not the cheapest stuff in the world, obviously. Okay, so there she is. Wicked up, ready to saturate. So I'll be, I think I'm just gonna go with some grape juice today. I'm feeling grapey. So I'll be using some mod sauce. Again, interested, check me out, modsauce.ca. Unfortunately, to my American friends, we are not set up for international shipping. Uh, the problem is payment. I can't use PayPal um, because they won't allow people to sell anything to do with tobacco or nicotine. And they'll just freeze your account and hold your assets if they catch you. So I can't use PayPal. In Canada, we use Interact email money transfers, but they're only good for Canadian bank accounts. So the problem is accepting payment. If I can figure out a way to accept payment for my American friends, um, I would love to be able to provide cost-effective Max VG premium e-juice solutions for you guys. And hopefully we can get that figured out shortly. We are working hard. Okay, so I just dropped some juice on there. I'm using my trusty Manhattan mod. This is the first neck mod I ever bought. This thing is so old, beat to crap. You know what? Still works great, and it is one of the hardest hit mods I own. So she's uh, putting out some good clouds. I didn't even put the copper center pin in there. Don't even really need it. Personally, I don't. Per I don't really like copper, um, unless it's lead free. But I can't determine if it is, so I'm not gonna play that game. Okay, so here's the last final once around. Um, you know, I've been using one of these for a little while, and I just decided to give you a full build treatment today. So you can see the coil right through the air slot there, perfectly lined up. So you're getting good flavors. Uh, and if you want, you can go with the smaller airflow. Um, just, I mean, just a little more. I know a lot of guys like that restricted airflow. But this thing puts out, oh, I'm sorry guys, this thing puts out crazy flavors. I can blow huge clouds on any device, man. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to give you the opinion of this device. I haven't bought many drippers in a while because I find it's all the same shit recycled. This is just another three post dripper. There's a lot of them out there, but the features made this one stand out a little bit to me. The fact is 316 grade medical steel. It's gonna hold up longer. Hopefully your screws aren't gonna rust with the e-juice and that sort of thing. Spare copper center pin. It's a quality device. If you're looking for something that can handle some serious power, throw some big clouds, and it's not going to let you down, it's a good device. I think I paid under $10 US for this guy shipped to me from fasttech.com. Again, check the description for the links. And I would buy it in a heartbeat again if I were to drop this thing on the ground and smash it or lose it or whatever. I don't I'd break it if I dropped it, but... If I lost it, I would probably just go and order a new one. So the O-rings I like... Nice and meaty. I like the way that this uh, adjusts. If you want to go for a smaller or tighter airflow, just easily flip that ring around and plunk her on there. The O-rings sit nice. They're not going to come apart on you. Yeah. Flavors are great. Clouds are great. This is a good one. It looks nice too. I really like the look of this uh, wide bore adapter on here. So, you know, I thank you guys for watching the videos. I got lots to come. Big plans on the way. Keep an eye out for this guy next. I'll be doing the Evil Monk. This was sent to me. Thank you, Cindy from Avogo, actually, for sending me this. I will be getting to that one next. So keep an eye out. There's no post in that at all. Non post RDA, they call it. Interesting setup. But again, thank you guys for watching. Make it cloudy, my friend. Keep calm. Vape on.